Hello, Internet. I think we are really, for real this time, almost done with Dave the Diver. I got a lot of money. Let's see what I can upgrade before we go into the control room and get control of the giant tree that may or may not be the cause of all these problems. So we can't make our dive suit any stronger. We can carry more stuff. That's not super expensive. We can have a little bit more air. We can upgrade our knife to do a little bit more damage. Probably want more air. Because, again, that's basically more health. Is there anything we can buy from Cobra that might help us? Ruben is getting meta ads now. What does meta even need to advertise? Like, they already have, you know... They've already got Instagram and Facebook and whatever God knows what else. They don't need to advertise to you. I'm gonna get this scooter. Because it'll probably come in handy. We also need a vampire squid. I think those are in the glacial area, right? Or are they in the passage? They're actually in the passage, I think. Is our... Is our Pokemon card thing actually going to come in handy for once? Glacial Passage. Vampire Squid. So we gotta go there first. No, like, ads. What's up, chat? Should I sell this on... Platform? What I'm saying is it's kind of like... Why does Coca-Cola need to send out advertisements? Everyone already knows what Coca-Cola is. Everyone already knows what a Facebook is. Let's go get our one vampire squid so we can feed not Gordon Ramsay. so that Ruben doesn't buy the store brand or Pepsi. But you already know what Coca-Cola is. You know if you like it or not. Also going insane with math. Megalagraptus. What? Shining jellyfish. Aw, side quests. Push it on. It looks like something Sergio would like. I should follow it. Uh, side quests. Hey, Parasitus Rocket Vermont? Welcome to the channel. Um, this is Dave the Diver. We're almost done with it. We're going to abuse this poor squid. If I can remember how the controls work. That's a new one. BT being Vermont. Is it like B tuber, maybe? Wow, this vampire squid really doesn't want to die. I think the shiny jellyfish went this way. Yeah, okay, so right now we're, uh,. We're trying not to die. And we're trying to find someone's pet octopus. And the shiny thing that we were following seems to have not gone the direction I thought it did. Which is not great. Also, I totally just jumped when that, uh... When that vampire squid did his thing. You know what? 
you know what? I don't really care. I'm not going to save that octopus. Selgio can rot in here. We got a world to save. That's going to be hard. They can fit through holes no bigger than their beaks. Yeah, probably what would have happened was we would have followed the jellyfish and then there would have been some like rocky area. We'd have to do something to break up the rocks. And then once we broke up the rocks, we could get Selgio the little, he's not a, I don't remember the name of the species that Selgio is, but he's one of those really deep sea octopuses with the big bulging eyes and like the weird little tiny tentacles. You notice that I have stream avatars. Yes, I do. So I assume you know how to um, customize them, and I don't have to tell you how, because frankly, I don't know much about customizing them. Anyway, making progress. We are going to actually beat this game today, hopefully. Gun upgrades. So what kind of games do you usually, um... Do you stream? Let's start with what kind of games you usually watch. Gun could be gun upgrade. Because we really, really need upgrades. Mostly art here. He's working on a rebrand. Ice gun. We've had this before. It didn't work very well. It was nice how it made things slow down. Uh oh. The ground's rumbling again. It's getting more intense. I should go. I should quickly go down to the control room. Working on a rebrand. So, what were you before? Just some like parasite, like a tapeworm, VTuber. Baseball. I haven't found one of those before. Hey, Vopker. Oh no! Oh no, he has us cornered. Hi. Hi, Electron. Could you guys hear the uh, robot reads my uh, message uh, voice? I'm doing something slightly different with the um, sound setup today. <laughs> also, excuse me if I um, sound terrible. It's a beautiful day here, except for the pollen. There is so much pollen that I'm playing the uh, Is My Snot Yellow Because of Pus? Or is it yellow because of just how much pollen I've inhaled game? I don't like this game. But I don't get a choice on whether I play it or not. The snot color game. He was a parasitic slime mold, but he's playing more into the Super Sentai Power Rangers inspiration. Okay, so the, the noise... or the uh, text speech is working. Cool. Good. I haven't ruined everything yet. Oh, we only get seven of these... Uh. Hi, Dunkleostis. Please leave us alone, Dunkleostis. Why would you have pus in your nose? Because of my immune system reacting to foreign material being inside my head that doesn't want to be there. Alright, now we're able to go in to the control room of the tree. I feel hot air coming out from inside. 
Well, that's not right. Dave does not move well, very well on land. That is not a good sign. Be careful. Like, how do we have air this deep underwater? Going to a new region. Is this it? The roots have severely mutated. How would you know that? You don't know what roots look like to this type of tree. Whatever. Oh, it's allergies. I thought about something else. No, I'm not infected with anything. It's just... You know, immune system going off to pollen. I should be less gross when I have new people here. The door is blocked by tree sap. Do I mean snot? Well, snot normally is clear. But when it's like cartoonishly yellow, that's when I worry. But right now it's probably just because of the pollen. Like literally I'm sneezing out wads of pollen. Is my mic peaking a lot? Should I lower the mic volume a little bit? There should be a way to go inside. Because it's a video game. And in a video game, there are no unsolvable problems. I'm gonna touch the sap. Shooting the sap doesn't do anything. Um, it's an interesting snail. I apparently can't do anything with the snail. Your snot change color depending on your health. Clear is healthy, green and yellow is allergies. Black and red sinus infections. Something like that. Can I just grab the snail? I can! Here, snail, this is your new home. I hope you don't have any fear of heights. Ruben's given up on math, it's too boring. Yeah, but how will you understand how to make quantum computers work if you don't learn advanced math? Anyway, we're in. Until we're not. Probably should have seen that coming. Other paths are blocked by tree sap as well. A sea scorpion and mutated divine tree fruits. This is terrible. It is not advanced. We just started a new chapter. I mean, just knowing algebra is advanced compared to people 100 or 200 years ago. Not everyone got to learn. I mean, ugh. it used to not be normal to know anything better than like multiplication. I. Well, he's not showing up as hostile, and he's hostile. And there's a lot of them. Did I actually pause things when I do that? There's an iron-skirted snail. They're a extremophile that lives near vents. They incorporate iron to their shells and the skirt around their foot. Oh, cool. Iron shell, or iron snail. So if I can find some way to like, uh-oh. If I can find someone to drop these, we could probably break the... Ooh. 
Uh oh. And hope we don't die. It'll blow up on its own, right? There it goes. Red means your nose either dry or injured. It's red from blood. Well, that I can guess. What happens when it starts out red and slowly turns into black goop? Uh, you might be in a horror movie. Hmm. What if I drop this mutated drying tree food onto the door I saw earlier? Well, that'd be kind of hard since we gotta get there. Hmm, a hydrothermal vent is blocking the door. Well, thanks, uh, Parasitus. I'm pretty sure I can use the... <laughs> Black means a serious inf fungal infection. You should call your doctor. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. To be perfectly honest, I probably wouldn't. But that's a, that's a me problem. <laughs> or it means you smoke. Yeah, uh, I guess. Is there any way to stop that water jet? Well, we've got this little extremophile snail. Thanks to Parasitus, we can pretty much assume this won't kill it. Yay. Nice, it's been stopped. And we're not just cooking the snail. Ruben doesn't think you would get a random fungal infection while biking, or at least it stopped. Better pass before it moves again. Um... Isn't that, though, just, like, the way it is? Mm. Fungal infections, they just sh show up out of nowhere. Because fungi are mysterious creatures. This is a massive crater. The top wall looks loose. It might collapse if the crater erupts a little higher. I think he means the vents erupt a little higher. It was definitely like a year ago, so he's good. Yeah, if you're not dead by now, it's probably fine. There's probably no, like, evil truffle taking over your brain. I just realized I forgot to scoot myself down, and so my claws are getting cut off. Whatever. We can fix that some other time. Anyway, so that guy's gonna cover one vent. And then we gotta cover another vent. Snails are not cooperating. We can make the snails more cooperative. I'm clearly doing this wrong. so close. Just give him a little hug.
Okay, we got it. Woo. Sorry, got a little quiet there. If it was, we'd all definitely notice. Yes, people would definitely leave when Ruben joins, or just don't talk too much. Maybe I scared them off by talking about snot, or by just, like, not talking that whole time I was trying to get the snails to line up. I should bring the divine tree fruit here with me. I should refill my oxygen before I leave. Yoink! And we're out of boosters. There is much more of a pattern with Ruben and talking and people going away. I should have like a list of things to ask people about. get them to talk. Anyway, it looks spooky inside. How's it any spookier than out here? Whatever. Probably zombies. There's probably zombies in here. So, the black smoke probably kills Dave. Like, things like, do you dislike Ruben? <laughs> they don't know you well enough to dislike you yet. There's some weird angles here. I don't like it. I mean, I guess it could be safe to go like that. Ribbon has been here a long time. Yes, but they have not. Okay, I'm a little on fire. But maybe that'll be fine if I change areas. You could ask, when is the last time you went to the dentist? Except I can't answer that question. It's kind of rude to ask. Ew, slime! What are these gross looking eggs? Why are they attached to divine tree roots? Maybe it's not eggs, maybe it's fruiting bodies. This could just be like some sort of, uh, commensalist fungus that grows in the roots and helps the roots absorb nutrients. Or no, it's um, it's anomalous is Strange creatures have hatched from the eggs. Wait, those creatures? I have seen them in one of the Sea People's murals. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, I probably should go to a dentist at some point in my life. As far as I know, my teeth are fine. They seem fine. They don't hurt. They're not broken or anything. Whatever. Tenzin once told me that an ancient engineer altered creatures by infusing the divine tree energy. These may be the creatures. They have survived for such a long period of time, still breathing. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Well, I assume they're bad and mean. And I can't hurt them with... Okay, bullets work. Bullets work. How many bullets I have left? Three. At some point in my life. Well, Ruby went today. Alright, I think that's all of them. How was that? Did they find any problems? Did they use that metal pick that 
to me, seems like it should do more damage than good, but apparently it doesn't. Ugh. It makes my skin crawl just thinking about the metal dentist pick. The weather was scarier. The weather is absolutely beautiful here. It's just, you know, I can't go outside and breathe. Non-mutated tree fruits. Because we have a laser puzzle. Oh, God. That's too many eggs. Of course they do. It doesn't harm you. Ugh. Just... It doesn't even hurt. It just feels so wrong to have a metal pick against your tooth. They look like they're ready to hatch. But I can't go back now. This is how it ends. The air hurts Reuben and drains his energy, and hail hurts... Wow. I guess you couldn't avoid biking in the hailstorm, but normally you would want to. There is a door there! If I could melt the mucus covering the door... There is an intact divine tree fruit. Yes, Dave, we noticed. Okay, laser is working, but we don't have a way to move the laser. It hailed like crazy when Ruben was done with the dentist, and he had to bike painfully for a minute. Hail is one of those things that normally stops pretty quickly, unless you're in like a hurricane or something. Maybe next time just wait it out. Stay underneath a roof or something. Of course, then that presents the new issue of biking on a road that's covered in melting ice. Maybe I can melt the mucus by projecting the light from this divine tree fruit. Hopefully I can melt them with this uh, laser. I need to get rid of them before I can melt the mucus. I can't afford to miss... Oh, wait. Alright, that didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. Reuben was not gone. Or not going to wait 30 minutes at the dis dentist. Uh, so... Beam! And more anomaly carouses. <laughs> Need to get rid of them before doing anything else. Okay. I must open the door and escape. Just don't... Don't fail me now, laser. This time, I will eliminate them once and for all. Them. Maybe now they're extinct again. That should be the last of them. I must quickly melt the muc yeah. I must quickly melt the mucus covering the door before anything else shows up. Little warning since you fear, they did use the thing and picked some sticky food stuff. Ugh. Nice, the mucus is all gone. Should be pretty refreshed, that hallway. It must be the core of the control room over there. Let's find out what it is. 
Let's find out if that giant zombie was the evil wizard, or if the evil wizard is, like, living inside of this control room still. It did not hurt or harm. Yeah, it just feels weird. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter. What choice do I have? We're locked in here. You met with your grandma. How did that go? Did she have food for you? Uh, the offspring of that ancient creature is clinging to something. Is that the nucleus of the divine tree? Maybe, who knows? It's a divine tree. It's literally just not something you've experienced before, Dave. She was a dentist, so... Oh, wait. So you went to the dentist with your former dentist grandma? Does she go and criticize people? Or is that more of an American thing where retired people go to other people who do the job they used to do and be like, back in my day, we used to do it like this. It's like, you can't legally do that anymore. Shut up. Whatever. Could that be why the divine tree is acting strange? Because of anomalous Karis infections? No, she is retired. I guess she's also retired from criticizing people. That's good. I'll need to get rid of those creatures first. Why would she? I don't know why people act the way they do, Reuben. Okay, cause the earthquake. Might be the anomalous Karis's. Might be I'm running out of oxygen. I need to find another flam. Ooh, lava. It seems like the roots are growing into the lava, so maybe the divine tree likes that? Well, we have, uh, no... The dentists were all of her old college. They are not old. I only have six bullets. Now I do have those baseballs. Oh, I can aim them, I see. That looks less infected. Looks like the divine tree's nucleus is stabilized again. I guess this should do it. Problem solved. Day saved. I hope the earthquakes will stop now. I should start heading back to land. Except we're locked in here, Dave. We've gone through two different points of no return. And I have no bullets. What on earth is that? Is that the mom of those creatures that I saw earlier? Man, she's gonna be pissed. No wonder there were eggs everywhere. I killed your babies, but in my defense, it was me or them. Not how lava works. A lot of this is not how lava or water or ice work. Dave slowly backs away like like he has anywhere he can go. Okay. Uh, Dr. Bacon, you got a big gun I can use? I tracked you down in case you needed help. What's going on here? You get to witness me being eaten by a giant creature. That huge creature came out from the lava. Hmm. I know what that is. I've seen it a lot in the texts about the ancient civilization of the Sea People. Looks like the creature known as... I'm gonna say the Yawi. Yawi. Yawi? Yay! Dave is already dead. He is so dead. Ancient beast from legend is still alive. And it's massively bigger. 
The Sea People Elder told me about some experiments. It must have absorbed the divine tree and the geothermal energy to get this big. Sure, Dr. Bacon, you're the doctor here. We have to defeat it to, disable, to stabilize the divine tree. Dave, I'm counting on you. Please give me something to fight with. I have nothing. I have five baseballs. How can I possibly defeat a huge ancient creature? You took down a dinosaur just a moment ago. That was two days ago, and I had a gun. And a missile launcher. No, that was a different situation. I don't have any weapons or bullets now. Zap. Dave, isn't the weapon right here? Uh, Duff, what are you talking about? I told you, this drone has all kinds of hidden features. I knew this day would come, but it was a bit sooner than expected. I'll input the activation code for the drone's attack mode. We're Super Dave now. Okay, not that super. It can do that? This drone can maintain oxygen levels, fire of unlimited bullets, even manipulate time. Manipulate time? <laughs> yes, if you press uh, right mouse button, you can temporarily manipulate time. It should give you some time to dodge attacks. Of course, you need to be quick. This is all the help I can give now. That is one patient monster, indeed. On the other hand, it's probably the rule about how you're not allowed to attack during transformation scenes or during dialogue. Yeah. I hope you won't be saying our final goodbyes. Goodbye to... No. See you again, Ternity. Okay. Mama Anomalocaris. Now we can fight. Yawi, your name is Yawi. I can't run away now, not after getting this far. Alright, let's deal with this. Was that a pun? No. It was not. It was just a catchphrase. Sometimes when you're translating, you've got a time crunch and you gotta figure out. Is this too cheesy or cheesy enough people will love it anyway. And sometimes you get things like Goodbye Eternity. Oh, okay, this is a Don Maku now. I am not good at Don Maku. This is one bad ecosystem. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Yes, I'm killing an ancient, marvelous creature, but, um... And yes, I am a replaceable underwater monkey. But again, it's him or me. The <laughs> Contra gameplay. Our current attack level might not be enough. This enemy's tougher than we expected. I didn't want to go this far, but let's unlock the limiter. Why didn't you do that from the start? Who brings up their trump card right at the beginning of a game? Uh, Hearthstone players. Hearthstone players do that. I call this Stella Laser. Yeah, welcome back, Bopker. 
a super-powered laser combining all our tech. Even the translation stuff. Never thought we'd use it underwater. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. If you hold space, you can gather Stella energy. Yeah. Let go of the button to fire. Easy, right? <laughs> Sans Undertale. Sorry, Snass Undertale. I didn't play Undertale, so I've not even tried to do... I take that back. I actually played a Flash version of uh, having a bad time. I don't remember if I beat it or not. I probably did not. Yeah. Keep in mind, you'll move slower while charging, so be careful. Yeah. Good luck, Dave. Zap. Ooh. A charge and fire laser, huh? It was Halo 3 that introduced... It was 3, right? That introduced the laser weapon that we would just go for, even though none of us were good at using it, because it was just so cool to laser someone from across the map. Anyway, let's finish this. Oh, this is the same attack as, uh, what's-his-face? Okay, these were actually a lot of the same attacks as before. And I still got hit. Uh-oh. Well... This isn't looking good. Yeah, that's not good. Maybe they'll let us start with full health this time. Played a Flash version, that made some memories come floating back. Rest in peace, Flash. You were the last good thing Adobe made. We'll just ignore all the really annoying websites that overuse Flash. Overall, Flash with a net positive. I try to kill as many of these babies as possible. I wish I knew where Dave's hurt box was, hit box was, whatever.
Oh, wait. Are we good? Are we done? Vop just like sitting back and looking at the stream. Thanks for that. Uh, no, it's not dead. It's just retreating like, you know, a smart living thing would do. It's trying to run away. If we don't kill it now, it will cause... It will continue to cause problems. Let's put an end to this once and for all. And hope that absolutely none of its babies are still alive. Because they'll just come back and grow into this thing again. And... Who knows? You know what? Uh... Don't look at where the bullets are, look at where they aren't. Oh! Hey! One hit shot, I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. How is that tree project going? It's not. I didn't do anything this weekend stream related That seemed like a good place to charge up, but the problem is the recoil knocked me backwards and into the bullets. You know what? But like in total, is there more or less than 2%? Um, all I gotta do is move the film from my phone to my laptop. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but probably less than an hour. And then I gotta trim up the bits and put them together. And that'll take maybe two hours tops. So. I just gotta find a day to sit down and do it. It's finally tired. Now's our chance. We need to end something. Or maybe. Maybe it's gonna just like kill the divine tree. Unbelievable. That far. Well, getting the fi getting the film was the hard part. Putting it together is not that bad. That was close. Look, it's using its last bit of strength. Dave, move that open path for now. But what if it gets away? It won't be able to hold on much longer. Oh, it's chasing us now.
Okay, manipulating time's helping. Um, is it done? Is it out of firepower? And that's a dead end. Great. What should I do? We shoot the fish. Dave, we do what we do every day. We shoot the fish. We shoot the fish and don't fail the really generous quick time events. Uh, okay, it's entangled in the divine tree. This is a lucky opportunity to finish it off. Hmm, the drone seems to be malfunctioning. I can't pick up the weapon signal. You are the best fish shooter I know. They don't even have to be in a barrel sometimes. Well, what should I do? Is there anything useful around here? Like divine tree fruit, perhaps? Right, right there. There's a huge divine tree fruit device over there. The divine tree fruit seems to have returned to normal. What if I put it in there and operate it? No, it's too big. I couldn't possibly move and aim it all by myself. Whale friend? Is whale friend gonna come help? Gonna save us? Or all the sea people. Well, the royal family. Is that a good idea? Are you all right, human? Oh, sea people! We came down here because you didn't come up even though the divine tree was stabilized. Is that Yawi? Has it grown that big over this long period of time? It seems like we need to defeat that creature to end this. This is our chance while it's tied up. Let's finish it off. Oh yeah, Swamp's here too. Maybe he'll help. That won't be enough, unless we use the divine tree fruit device over there. Well, given my expertise in both physics and math, it seems like we might need to adjust the angle of the device upwards. Well, that might work, but it looks incredibly heavy. We'll help. If five of us combine our strengths... I mean, there's, I guess, five fish people? We can do it somehow. You bring the divine tree fruit and put it in. There is no time! He will punch it like a scout. Just gonna go punch the horrible anomaly Karis. <laughs> big men moving big things, they're very happy about it. We'll start from the ones that are nearest to Yawi. Since those will probably be the scariest to get. What does control do? Wait, we only needed one? Alright, I'm ready. The device is responding. It's time to end our long history. That doesn't sound good. You pesky nuisance, take this! I don't feel like we really learned anything <laughs> from this whole ordeal. Oh, it's a cooked critter. <laughs> Our long 20 years of slow history. My aim was precise. It won't recover from that state. I don't know, bugs are weird. Especially, you know, Cambrian explosion bugs. We don't know where that thing's brain is. Woo. This really has been an incredible journey. You did a great job, human. Let's go back to the Sea People Village and talk. Can I grab some of that anomalous Karis? We might want to make sushi out of it. The water temperature has stabilized, and the divine tree fruit is also in good condition. That was, uh... 
You know, I couldn't come up with a better way to have a final boss fight than just, it's Don Maku battle now. Yeah. Have fun. It actually was fun. That was, that was a pretty cool boss fight. It did a good job of bringing back all the different bullet patterns that have existed in this game so far and making them into one fight. Almost like it's been building towards that. Crazy. The villagers who were ill seem to be slowly improving. We've faced many challenges, but it's a relief that we've managed to overcome them. Do they really not have a real name? I don't call Earth the human people city. We are talking through some sort of magical translation device that Dr. Bacon made, so... Who knows what's going on linguistically? It's like in the future when everyone's talking to each other through AI, and we all get our own, like, personalized language that doesn't make sense to anyone else. But the AIs will, uh, be intermediaries and translate our unique idiot babble into idiot babble that other people understand. Or something. I think the earthquakes on the mainland will stop as well. How about going up and checking the status and never coming back here again? Good job, human. Come and visit us often. Mission complete. Cause of the earthquakes. This is just advanced street language. Did that say Happy Halloween? It's Halloween. It's Halloween, guys. We should try to serve up some uh, horrifying fried shark head. I did not... We killed all of those megalograptuses and we only got four pieces of meat from it? <laughs> and we didn't get any meat from the... Uh, little baby anomalocaruses? Yawis? Whatever, it's already nighttime. It's been a long day. Don't let the shark hear that. Well, these sharks are dead. That's why we're serving their heads deep fried on a plate. Mm -hmm. I think I'll drop by Bancho Sushi. Doesn't even give me the option to go anywhere else. The game is like, no, you will not faff about on the fish farm and the farm farm. And why is Duff here in virtual form eating pizza? Hey there, Dave. You're finally back. But sometime a live one appears. Well, hopefully not. I, I think we're done with the game. I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't have to fight any more sharks. Oh, everyone's gathered here. We heard from Dr. Bacon. You've accomplished a lot. Do I finally get sushi, Cobra? You did a good job. How about we all relax today and enjoy some food together? Whoa, awesome. I was worried I might have to get right back to work. Great, we should all celebrate together. Well, I mean, someone's working other than Boncho, maybe? Hey, cat. Momo is happy. Yeah. Hey, Sammy. It's been a while, Boncho Sushi. How are you, Sammy? Are you enjoying your life here? Yeah. You know it. There are times when I get a bit bored, but it's also incredibly inspiring, yo. Yeah. The new song that I recently released, Farmer Daddy, online has been getting great feedback, you know. Yeah. So you're still making music, huh? Yeah. For sure. The sound of a hoe hitting the ground, the clucking of a hen, it's all just one big beat to me, yo. Hi, Virtual Duff. Why didn't he come in person? Don't question it, Dave. You don't know how much of a blessing this is that he's not here in person. Because I am waiting for an important parcel today. I've been inspired from afar by your bravery, Dave. The way you fought tirelessly to save the Sea People Village. 
If you were a beautiful girl, I might have joined your fandom. Please join my fandom without me being a beautiful girl. I'll pour all my energy into weapon research to prepare for my up for any upcoming crises. Did I hear Discord like every ten minutes? No, because I have headphones on. I see that I have Discord messages. Hopefully, someone's not trying to like tell me they're locked and I save or something. Okay, well, that didn't look like an emergency. As your colleague, I'm counting on your continued efforts, Dave. Mmm, alright. Hey, Oto. <laughs> ha ha ha, a true feast. You're always so busy, we've hardly had time to chat. Now that things are calmer, I'll have plenty of time to share with you some of my stories. Ruben has already joined my fandom, even though I am not a pretty girl. Uh, sir? Back in my driving day, diving days, I was mostly into free diving. And I wore the necklace my father gave me. But barracudas have a tendency to attack anything that shines. Out of nowhere, a school of barracudas came at me. Even worse, I didn't have a harpoon that day. I figured fleeing might be more dangerous, so I swam straight towards the barracudas. Whoa, I think the ground just shook. Huh? Eh, I didn't feel anything getting out of old man stories. Dave, you've worked really hard. It's gratifying to see your venture prospering. That's largely thanks to you for providing such reliable staff, including that ninja. Best hiring choice we made. You know, you must have had your plate full with all kinds of things. But now, I hope you can support Boncho in running the restaurant effi effectively. Poncho's a bit stubborn and might stir up some problems if left to his own devices. Hey, Udo, who invited you? Hey, Dave. Your assistance has really helped elevate my status at the company. We have a new reporter now, which lightens my load a bit. Yeah. So I can even afford to join in on these evening gatherings. Since I cannot drink beer, I stick to non-alcoholic drinks, though. Ha ha. I'm happy to hear that I was helpful. So, you don't need me to help you with your reporting anymore, right? Uh, what are you talking about? I still don't know how to dive. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything I need help with, I'll come looking for you. <sighs> hey, Cobra. Good job, Dave. He did not see the restaurant was closed. Just barge right in. It's like, hey, is Dave here? I need her to photograph some fish for me. Some, some fractive Pokemon fish. I only opened a shop here because this place has plenty of fish. Who knew it had such a secret? Well, you've solved the problem, and my business is booming now. I guess my decision was right after all. Ha ha ha! It was a fun experience. Coming here was a good idea. I'm thinking about seeking out other adventure. What do you think? Let's just rest for now, Cobra. Hey, college student whose name I forget. First time seeing you in the shop, huh? Well, I just submitted my... Finished submitting my paper, so I'm a bit free. Oh, good. I'm glad for you. Huh? That eco bag there. I haven't seen it before. Ha ha ha, you have sharp eyes. It's the reward for maxing out the eco watcher level. Is Dave here? I am unable to do my job. I need him to do some unpaid labor for me. Well... Not very paid labor. We'll discuss payment once he brings back my, uh... Savage fish horns or something. It's a service that prints the faces of users committed to environmental protection on a bag. You've really been putting a lot of work in since you got some free time. I can't fall behind. Hey, Sato, I never helped you. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, Sato, you made it too. Wow, that was a voice. Ha <laughs> ha! I heard you've been venturing into glaciers to collect Marinka, and I thought I'd show some support. 
Well, it's not quite true, but... Aha! Thanks to you, my world ranking keeps getting better and better. Now that the big event is behind us, let's see about gathering the remaining Marinka. Oops, just remembered, I forgot to turn off the lights after Gao went to sleep. So will you be leaving then? No? Hey, Dr. Bacon. You almost got killed by pirates. And it was my fault, kind of. But you didn't. So it's all good. I still can't believe what happened. Not just the Sea People civilization, but the village too. And you even solved their crisis. Great job. From now on, we should keep this civilization secret. They need to maintain the peace they've regained. Yes, people are scum. Oh, Vincent. Are you here alone tonight? Where's your co-worker? I didn't come here to rate your restaurant today, so don't stress. Take it easy. When I dine in peace, I can savor the intricate flavors more. It's delicious. I'm happy to hear that. Hmm, I guess my prejudices have worn off. But there's no denying that there has been a slight change to the taste. Really? The taste changed? It's a bit smoother, you could say. Softer. Dr. Bacon sure is a dude. He really loves what he does. Before, the dishes were brimming with the chef's strong-willed style, but now it feels more accommodating to the customer. Interesting, so that translates into the taste as well. Well, that might just be my perception. Hey, Boncho. You're like the only sane person here. Kind of. I'm sorry, I couldn't be much help. I was busy with the shop. He saved how many sea people with his weird coral food? What are you talking about, Boncho? The sea people loved your cooking, yeah! Mmm, if that's the case, I'm glad. Now there's no more earthquakes, let's get to work. And now we talk to our beer. Ooh, it was a lot tougher than I thought, but... I met a lot of nice people in the end. And fish. Looking back, it was a fun adventure. I never would have visited a place like the Sea People Village in my life were I not given the opportunity. That translation definitely needs a second draft. Okay, let's relax and go for another exciting dive. Nope. Credits are rolling. I'm done. Come by. He's like a Jedi ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Otto's face there is great. Dr. Bacon is like Ruben's history teacher. Oh, he actually opened it. And it's just a figure. Hey, look, they're making us a cool little thumbs up statue. <laughs> Bringing us some ancient treasure to sell for, you know, fungible tokens. Oh, sick. It's the librarian. Yeah, he did a good job of uh, capturing Dave's likeliness. Like... He did a good opening sketch. Also, Godzilla shirt. Dave's got a Godzilla shirt. Baby Godzilla. Godzilla Jr.? I forget what it's called. There we go, the end. Except, uh... Looks like no, not the end. What is that? Why is there a rocket? Whose rocket is that? 
Did I just level the sushi place? Okay, well, all good video games end in space, I guess. Ah, oh, there we go. These are some very nondescript. Okay, that was a good one. She had a little thing on her head. Yeah, that just like it's a guy. Lead 3D artist. Design and programming. We gotta find the translator. Can I blow up this rock? Nope. Oh, there's another weird alien. Art director. <laughs> okay, he looked like an art director, sure. AI and combat. That's quite an alien. It's upside down. Why is it upside down? Business strategy analysts. Wearing his pajamas to work. Nolan King, game designer. Is that a microphone? Lead animator, you did a great job with uh, the pixel art. Gameplay programmer. Nothing broke. Animator! 1990, nice shirt. Oh, he brought a sweater. Score of 20. I haven't found all the designers yet. Only gotta find eight more. Oh, we got the thank. We got thanks. We're in the credits. We only missed four developers. Thank you for playing Halloween 2022. It's kind of like how Die Hard takes place on Christmas. It doesn't really affect the story, but it's neat to have your uh, ending on a completely unrelated holiday. This is a Halloween game now. I guess next Halloween I need to learn the speed run so I can do it in three hours. What will Monday be now? I don't know. I've got two Friday games in the works that I want to play. That should be pretty short. But I don't know what I'm going to play non-Salmon Run related now. And I've got until next Monday to figure it out. Did you sleep well, Dave? <laughs> yep, I finally got some sound sleep and shot some aliens. Mm. I even dreamed I was exploring space. Yeah, that. 
Ha ha! Things should calm down a bit now. Well then, go check on any unfinished business, and let's have a blast running Boncho Sushi! Sammy, I'm going to mute this game if you start playing your theme music. Hey, what's up, Dave? Hmm, you seem a little bit down today, Sammy. I want to discuss something with you. Can you come to the chicken farm? Alright, be there soon. Yeah, except we're not going to be there soon. Huh? Some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? Cucumberholics. We're a group of people who are addicted to cucumber. You can call us cucumberholics. If you see anyone picking cucumber out of their food, tell them they need to learn how to appreciate the true taste of cucumber. We will host a cucumber party in three days. Educate people on cucumber's great taste. They're delicious, and they're great for your skin. Any store owners who serve dishes containing cucumber may participate in the cooking contest. Remember, cucumber is green love. Go to the library. Um, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to stop. As soon as they give me an opportunity. Not everyone loves cucumber. In fact, I don't like cucumber either. I can't stand the smell. <laughs> Congratulations, Deuce. You did it. We shot the biggest fish and saved a tree. There are many recipes that use fresh cucumber. Cucumber sushi is good, just like straight up cucumbers wrapped in vinegared rice. I have not successfully grown a cucumber plant, and I've tried like four times. I can get the plant to grow, but they just the cucumbers that come off it are never any good. Anyway, they are hosting an event around here. I need to be prepared to boost revenue that day. By the way, have I seen any cucumber at the farm? I should go ask Otto. But no, we're not going to ask Otto. We're going to be done. This... I would say probably the strongest thing this game did was adding all the little weird mini-games and boss fights that had their own mechanics. That was pretty cool. That made it so it didn't get terribly repetitive. You don't need to stream this again. I will look into the speedrun. And if it looks like it'll be funny, maybe I'll do that. Well, if I do the speedrun, though, then the game won't end in October. Or in, um, on Halloween. It'll probably end much faster. Or it maybe ends in some glitched date. Who knows? I haven't seen it. But I... Assume that the speedrun uses glitches because it's only three hours long and this game took me like 30. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. So thanks for hanging out for a little bit. I'll be back tomorrow playing Sam and Run. Hopefully by Monday I have figured out what our next big game's gonna be. Bye for now.